all of these episodes. Episodes. <laughs> Hello, my name's Andy and welcome back to the channel. <sighs> so, we're about to get into the final episode of Firefly. It has been a journey. And obviously I've got the movie as well. I know I've got the movie to go yet, but it's not quite the same. But yeah, I don't know that there's actually that much to say really. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot I want to say, but I kind of want to watch the episode first and then, although maybe not because I've got the movie as well, haven't I? So maybe I'll just save it all till the very, very end. But yes, anyway, I am going to jump on in to this episode, which is the final one, and um, try not to cry too much. This is Firefly, episode 14. Oh, it's loud. We're all just floating. <laughs> you couldn't possibly! No, I wish I was lying. What did you sing? This is not funny. This this is a morality <laughs> tale about the evils of sake. <laughs> I would be there right now. <laughs> um, it was it was either the national anthem or the pork barrier. Oh no. So like never? No. Not ever, never. But I mean, you still got the urge. They don't cut it off or nothing. <laughs> I just direct my energy elsewhere. You mean like masturbating? I hope you're not thinking of taking orders yourself. <laughs> yeah, that'll be the day. I got stupid, the money was too good. I don't give half a hump if you're innocent or not. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't impossible. St. James, it's got a ring to it. Hmm. I put out a few waves to some old acquaintances. I may even be able to find something in New Melbourne if you need the shuttle free. You know, the only thing you're gonna find in New Melbourne is fish. So unless you got the overwhelming urge to gut sturgeon, and who hasn't? I just don't want to draw this out. Have you decided when you're gonna tell the others? No. I'm a big girl, just tell me. None of it means a damn thing. This is a very, very strange episode. It's just an object. Doesn't mean what you think. Everybody know that's not yelling at her. That's sweetheart. Sure nothing to do with that. Put it down. What were you thinking? Where did you get a hold of? Using my hand. Not mad. Just let me. Thank you. Fully loaded safety off. This here is a recipe for unpleasantness. Does she understand that? She understands. She doesn't comprehend. Well, I'm glad we've made that distinction. No touching guns. There wasn't a gun though. River. It's getting very, very crowded. I thought she was on the mend. Uh, her, her medications are erratic. There's, there's not one that her system can eventually break down. Then you I want a lot of medical jargon. I'll talk to a doctor. You are talking to a doctor. I was about to say that. My point is, <laughs> could have been you she might have shot just then. The doctor, you take extra care with her. I mean, he does have a point, but she didn't know that she was holding a gun. So what can she do? Like, just never touch anything, just in case it's a gun. And what she was hearing and seeing then as well with all the different people, like... Obviously with Simon she saw him say that he would have been still a surgeon if it wasn't for her. And I did wonder if the other two, um, Burke and Jane, if what they said or what she heard them say was to was referring to her, but I don't think it was. I think they were referring to each other because they didn't really notice her there. And it was definitely the case with Mal and Anara. That was both what she what she heard was directed at each of them. I thought that makes sense. <laughs> I know what I mean. She was basically reading their thoughts. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry, hello? And who are you? Something wrong? I'm just getting a weird heat bounce off our wake. No, the locker's sealed. Only way she can get in there is if she knows the combination. I don't leave my guns around Mount. I don't leave them loaded. Well, somehow she got her hands on your hardware. Not, you know. Let's move this conversation in a not Jane's fault direction. I didn't make her crazy. Hell, I didn't even want her on the ship. Is that the direction you want this conversation to go in? Just don't want to take a lashing for something that I ain't the cause of. Where's River at now? In her room, which I'm thinking we bolt from the outside from now on. That's a little extreme, isn't it? Anybody remember her coming at me with a butcher's knife? Sir, I know she's unpredictable, but I don't think she'd harm anyone. Butcher's knife? Anyone we can't spare. I mean, as far as we know, the girl's never even picked up a gun before. <laughs> that ain't so. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, the last, the episode 12 or 11. When she shot the people very successfully. Okay, that's a little bit alarming. Trying not to dip my microphone in my coffee. <laughs> okay, Kaylee. Why don't you speak your piece? It was when the captain and Wash got took by Niska. I ain't like to forget that anytime soon. Well, we all went in. Me too. Didn't make much account of myself, I'm afraid. I got no problem with the notion you not killing nobody, Kaylee. What's this got to do with River? She wasn't even in that fight. Well, no, she was. I got pinned down, and there were three guys, and I couldn't... And then River comes up, she looks out, sees them all, and they were spread out. She only looked for a second and took my gun, closed her eyes, killed them. She shot them? All three, dead in an instant, with her eyes still closed. And it weren't auto fire or luck. She just, she just did the math. You understand how that sounds? Mathematics, what else could it have been? You couldn't have done it, Jane. Nor you, Captain. Please don't be mad. I just want to understand what you're saying here. I thought River was a friend. Right after she looked at me and she smiled like we were playing. It scared me. Could be she saved your life, Kaylee. Oh, I'm all aware of that, and she I'm not saying. probably seeing... didn't even know what was going on. To deal with is the larger issue. And that larger issue is. We got someone on board this ship. Might be a danger to us. Ain't a question of whether we like her. Fucking hell, who are you? But she does have an oddness to her. And I ain't just talking about her proficiency with firearms. If she shouldn't, then she couldn't. Are you saying she's a witch? Yes, Jane. She has had Congress with the beast. She's in Congress. <laughs> this isn't a joking matter. This is about our lives and rivers. She's deeply intuitive. It's true that you know, sometimes... I don't think she's intuitive, Doctor. I think she's a reader. You've been studying what they've done to her? Psychic, though? That sounds like something out of science fiction. We live in a spaceship, dear. <laughs> Are you saying she really reads minds? Yes. I don't like the idea of someone hearing what I'm thinking. No one likes the idea of hearing what you're thinking. <laughs> Your lines would have any number of uses for a psychic. She's just a kid. And she just wants to be a kid. I wish we were that simple. Yeah, and if wishes were horses, we'd all be eating steak. What do we plan to do about this? Well, I ain't gonna make a decision on anything till I thought on it a while. Let's get some rest. Simon? I gotta go check on my assassin. Oh, please don't be mad. I had to say something. I'm not mad at you. I just... Uh, she loves this ship. I think it's more home to her than any place she's been. Mm -hmm. What about you? I thought the hospital was home. I would be there right now if she hadn't... If, if, if they had just left her alone. Is it so bad here? I don't even know if the captain no, knows. I, I mean, 
Isn't there anything about this place you're glad of? Damn it. Oh. I don't die. But they're as bad as bloody Marlon and Nora. Has any of them actually tried talking to her? Although I guess... She doesn't really make much sense a lot of the time, does she? River, I mean. And I keep forgetting about this guy that's on the roof. Who is now not on the roof and is coming in. Oh god, hello. Oh, hello. Can someone wake up? Wake up, Zoe. Oh. Bollocks. Oh, God. River? I like this ship. <gasps> Serenity. How did you get on? Strains the mind a bit, don't it? Maybe I come down the chimney, Kaylee. Bring presents to the good girls and boys. He knows her name. Have you ever been... The captain is right down that hallway. He can hear you. The captain's locked in his quarters. They all are. There's nobody can help you. Say it. There's nobody can help me. I'm gonna tie you up now. <gasps> and you know what I'm gonna do then? Get rid of a problem you've got. And I won't touch you in any wrong fashion, nor hurt you at all. Unless you make some kind of ruckus. You throw a monkey wrench into my dealings in any way. Your body is forfeit. He seems like an absolute fucking... Now tell me, Kaylee. Where does River sleep? Shit. Shit. Hello? For fuck's sake. That's not... Why don't you sit yourself down? I'd rather die standing. Well, the intention is not for you to die. The warrant doesn't specify any particular need for you to be alive, but... Alliance? Where's your sister? Are you Alliance? Am I a lion? What? I don't think of myself as a lion. You might as well, though, have a mighty roar. I said Alliance. Oh, I thought... No, I was... That's weird. What the hell is going on? This is so strange. It's empty. I know. So is it still her room when it's empty? Is he like River? I did wonder this a while ago. I really can't help you. When he was with Kaylee. Get the reward, which is substantial. It would explain how he can do so much. Then what are you? I'm a body hunter. I'm named Early. Okay, maybe not then. <laughs> she sleep with anybody? River? Yeah. She grapple with any of the crew. Might be in their quarters. No. Maybe she does and you don't know about it. This is insane. I'm not going to help you find her in any case. You are going to help me look for her. I don't think my last act in this verse is going to be betraying my sister. Or you refuse to help me. I shoot your brain out. And I go upstairs and spend some time violating a little mechanic I got trussed up in the engine room. I take no pleasure in the thought, but she will die, weeping. You're out of your mind. Let's start with these rooms. What is wrong with this guy? Be a while before he comes too, but he'll mend. 
And which part of your plan dictated the necessity of beating up a shepherd? That ain't a shepherd. Is it not? The people you're planning to sell her to cut up her brain in a lab like this. Tortured her. Not some bandit on a murder run, just an innocent... You ought shot. No. You ought to be shot. Lose a leg. To be a surgeon, you know? Know what kind of pain you're dealing with. Hmm. This guy knows too much. I'm still not discounting my idea that he's... like River. Give you an open he talks like her. Firefly is a good design. Kind of. People don't appreciate the substance of things, objects in space. People miss out on what's solid. It's not your moment, Doctor. Like that? That's just weird. Why would you say that? Is that the companion shuttle? We'll try the empty first, then we'll pay her a visit. I hold it. Right. Let's lick the ship. It seems fairly pointed to me. Money like that, I could retire. Serenity's a smuggling ship. I've been here a year. I couldn't name all the places she might hide. I don't have a year. Your sister's becoming a real annoyance. I feel for you. I'm not going to waste my time threatening you because I think you believe I will kill people if someone upsets my plan. I'm going to seal you in, though. You just sit. You can still walk away from this. I know you're tired. Don't go visiting my intentions. He can read minds. I know you're on this ship, little girl. So here's how this goes. Show yourself and finish this exchange, or your brother's brains will be flying every which way. You understand, I'm sort of on the clock here. It's frustrating. You're wrong, Harley. I'm not wrong, Dumpling. I will shoot your brother dead wrong if you don't... about River. River's not on the ship. They didn't want her here, so she melted. Melted away. They didn't know she could do that. I'm not sure I take your meaning there. I'm not on the ship. I am the ship. River. River's gone. Then who exactly are we talking to? You're talking to Serenity. Serenity is very unhappy. Kaylee? River. You're afraid. I don't know where it came from. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm sorry. I didn't know what else to do. I... I'm fine. Well, I need you to do something for me. Gotta be brave. Where'd she go? I can't keep track of her when she's not incorporeally possessing a spaceship. Don't look at me. <laughs> you somewhere on this boat. Somewhere with a con playing games. <laughs> Mr. Jubal Early, bounty hunter. May I call you Jubal? Ain't nobody calls me that. Your mother does. I'm sorry. Did. You're a liar. I don't think your intentions are honorable. It's not generally considered honorable so much as. I live by a code, though, which I think is you worth. You hurt people. Only when the job requires it. Wrong. You crawl inside me uninvited, and you hurt my crew. Create a complicated childhood. Doesn't anybody care that I have a finely crafted gun pointed at this boy's head? I care. You gonna be smart here, River? River? Serenity? Oh, what the hell's going on here? I need you to do me a favor, Captain. There was a guy. How come there's a guy on board, and how come you're all of a sudden the ship? I know you have questions. That would be why I just asked them. But there isn't a lot of time, Captain. I need you to trust me. Are you ready? I can take this guy out. He's faster than you. All of you. And he's wearing armor. No touching guns. <laughs> Are you ready? 
How do you know what this guy's gonna do? I'm very close to him. He doesn't even see it. Okay, but... Go now! Oh, I love that they're trusting her. You're not welcome here anymore, Early. You think I'm gonna leave her empty-handed? You like to hurt folk. It's part of the job. It's why you took the job. Power. Control. Pain. Your mother knew. You're not well. You'll be wanting to shut up now. Never took to you. Everything in here gleams. I'll be a son of a whore. You're not in my girl mind. You're on my gone ship. <laughs> Very interesting. All these buttons. Okay, we're not touching those, okay? Put the gun away. Okay. I'm putting it away. No, he's not. <laughs> Fiddling with any die. You're not right, Early. You're not righteous. Got issues. No. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I could have that. Might have figured out that. It's been said. It's okay, Early. I'm going with you. River, what do you? Don't belong. You can't be controlled. You can't be trusted. Everyone could just go on without me and not have to worry. People could be what they wanted to be. Could be with the people they wanted. No. I'll be fine. Finally, something goes according to Simon? Oh, fuck. <laughs> See? That's what it feels like. Just hang tight, darling. Early's on the moon. Oh, shit. Is that Simon again? Oh, come on, Jane. We need you. Okay, now very gently pull that aside. This is really not my area of expertise, doctor. I tend to be putting these into people. Oh, get me wrong. I gave him a hell of a fight. Epic, I'm guessing. Well, I'm a force. Let's see you match that. I can win this. Oh, well, I'm hearing a lot of talk there, genius. Come on, show me what you got. taken me about five minutes sat here trying to get my words out without tearing up again <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the episode or if it's because it was the last one I think it might be a bit of both honestly like it was really 
really good having a river episode. I mean, obviously we've had a couple of kind of river-centric episodes, but that feels like a really nice one to end on. Because River's always fascinated me, like, since the beginning. So to know that she actually can read minds, which is kind of what I'd figured anyway, but to, just to have that confirmed is really good. And, oh, so many moments in this episode. Emotional. <laughs> I suppose the first one to kind of think about was at the very beginning of the episode when River was walking through and seeing all the different crew members and she could hear what they were thinking, basically. And it's no wonder she went around, like, completely overwhelmed most of the time. Because if she was could just... If that's what her world is, like, actually hearing people's thoughts, then good God. But yeah, and then obviously... The bit where Kaylee came forward and sort of said about the, the shootout like a couple of episodes ago, that was, I get why Kaylee said it, but I hadn't seen it that way. Because I think I said at the end of that episode, like, I wonder why Kaylee's looking at River oddly. Like, there was definitely a look between them and I couldn't figure out why. And obviously it was because she thought River was unaffected by killing people, which I didn't pick up on. And I suppose, yeah, well, that's true, I don't know, I think it was, they were clearly bad guys. It was a case of, if you don't shoot them, they will shoot you. So it wasn't like she was just killing for the sake of killing type of thing. And, I mean, obviously killing should never be easy, but it was kind of nice that it circled back to that and I kind of got a, a reason for that. But at the same time, it was quite difficult to listen, getting back to my point, it was quite difficult to listen to Kaylee say that about River, especially as we knew that River was, River was listening. And then... You know, obviously Mal sort of trying to then make the decision of what to do about her was difficult. Because I totally get his point of view. If she's unpredictable, if you don't know why she's unpredictable, then you can't guarantee that she's not going to hurt somebody or shoot somebody or whatever. And even though I understood where Mal was coming from, that didn't make it any easier. And then obviously that guy came on board and was an absolute fucking bellend, to put it mildly threatening Kaylee and then obviously and the reason I thought he was like River was just because he seemed to know so much I mean obviously I know he was listening in through the roof or the I don't know if spaceships have roofs but you know what I mean the the top he was listening in so I'm guessing that's how he knew all their names but at first before I actually thought about it I wondered if he was reading their minds and that's how he immediately knew who they were and he seemed very good it multiple things somehow <laughs> at least that's why it struck me like you know he, he could sneak up on a spaceship he could get in he could then do some sort of martial arts to take Mal down and he knew everybody's name and it just felt a bit too like he was too good at multiple things kind of like River in some ways like she can shoot without looking and she can she's probably very clever at other things that I can't think of at the moment. But you know what I mean, it, it just kinda gave me a river vibe, especially the way the stuff he was saying sounded nonsensical at some points. It very much reminded me of River, which is why I thought that he might have been experimented on like she was. But obviously not. He's obviously just very clever. <laughs> and probably very dead right now. And obviously the bit at the end when she, as we now know, she went over to his ship, but she was pretending to be Serenity. I thought that was so good. And I loved the fact, I mean, I suppose they didn't have much of a choice in fairness, but I loved the fact that the crew trusted her when she was telling them to kind of do the stuff that she needed them to do. They just completely trusted her. And then obviously the bit at the end when Mal was out in the space suit and then River came down to him and I don't know, permission to come aboard sir or whatever it was she said and it was just like oh such a good episode all of these episodes have been so good I'm actually gutted to have finished it I really am I, I kind of I was tempted I, well actually I am I, I was gonna say I, I do kind of want to try ranking the characters not like a proper thing but just sort of a bit of fun but I'd, I'm actually gonna wait until I've watched the movie to do that I think but yeah, it's I did not expect to get as attached to these characters as I have. <sighs> and it's actually making me want to tear up again. <laughs> but yeah, obviously I've got the movie to react to next, which, like I said at the beginning of this video, or it might have been the beginning of the last video, I can't remember, that is going to be coming out very soon. So do look out for that. That's going to be like within the next week or two. It's not going to be long. And the show that's going to be replacing this one is Sense8 which is another cancelled show. <laughs> so apparently 
I'm going to do this to myself again. That will be starting next week, possibly, unless I put the Serenity movie in next week's slot, in which case it'll be the week after. But yeah, basically, look out for Sensei if you are into that. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to check out the full length version, you can find the link to my Patreon in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.